I don't understand how the tampons didn't fly out of the box. I could just eat this right off the freaking spoon. Hi, I'm Gabby DiMartino, and today I'm gonna teach you how to make my grandma's most famous peanut butter pastel cake recipe, and I might spill a little tea. Mm, it smells so good. I forgot to add the oil. I'll just send my grandma a picture of this. This is so cute! I'm making this cake because it brings me so much joy. It's been a tradition for every like birthday, season, holiday, and yeah, I just wanna share this with you guys. This recipe is definitely super easy to make. All it requires is the standard like angel cake, white cake box mix, and a few little tips and tricks. The ingredients you're gonna need for this is obviously a cake mix, and then on the back, it tells you what ingredients you'll need for the cake. And then the only other ingredients you'll need is powdered sugar, peanut butter, and 2% milk. <laughs> The first step I'm going to do is obviously follow the standard directions on the back of this cake mix box. So I'm going to do the whole egg recipe, which is half a cup of oil, one cup of water, and three eggs. What was the most fun thing I did during lockdown? Hmm. I'd say creating my own fragrance. Um, it's actually right here. Try not to get burnt. Um, this is Beautiful Mess, and it smells like cake. I just sprayed this too close to that candle for comfort. But yeah, this is my fragrance. I love doing projects, but that in particular was so fun. And oh my God, I definitely doing this, not how many people would do this. I don't care about mixing wet ingredients and dry ingredients. I just go all in. But anyways, when you create a fragrance and you're at home and you don't have to go in to like offices for meetings and stuff. Everything is mailed to you. So I was constantly getting different little perfume bottles of different notes and making little different concoctions and spraying different note cards and writing down different ingredients on different note cards and seeing which mixture smelled the best. This took many tries. Hmm, my celebrity doppelganger. People say with makeup on, Ariana Grande. Um, without makeup on, definitely Nikki DiMartino. I, I see Nikki DiMartino 100%. Even though we look very different now, I see my twin's face on my face. <laughs> so right now, I'm just mixing the ingredients that the cake mix tries to mix together. I know a lot of people like to put like all the wet ingredients in like a separate bowl and then mix it into a dry ingredient, but I don't get that fancy with cake mix. I just do as it says. <laughs> oh my goodness, I forgot to add the oil. Look at me, I'm already a beautiful mess. If you guys didn't know, that's the name of my fragrance. It's called Beautiful Mess. My favorite TikTok dance or trend. Hmm. I really, really loved the whipped coffee trend. I know it's not a trend anymore, but I loved seeing everyone making whipped coffee in their houses. That was definitely an era. Oh my God, this is so funny. Like adding the oil in like a little too late. It's like separating. Ah. What's my beautiful mess? This right now. <laughs> now it's nice and mixed. It looks so yummy. I love cake batter. <laughs> A fashion choice that I regret. Huh. It happens a lot on TikTok, but I really like when dresses cut off right here. Um, and sometimes all the comments will be like, asking me all these different types of questions and I'm like, I should not have worn this dress. <laughs> so now I'm going to put this batter in the pan. I chose this cute little round pan to put the cake in because I wanna make it like a cute little wedding cake. Um, I got this vintage cake topper from an antique shop. Um, my grandma makes these for every special occasion and I'm sure she's gonna make one of these for any of like the pre, like wedding events, but I'm gonna make this first. I beat her to it. <laughs> What's my favorite place to shop at? Easy, home goods, um, for like furniture and like house stuff, but for clothes, definitely love Shack Fancy. If you guys don't know what I'm doing right now, I'm putting the batter in like separate bowls because I'm doing the pastel that my nani does. So 
I take this food coloring or pink frosting and I just put the tiniest bit in there so that it's not like hot pink. I want it to be like pastel pink. And then I want the other color to be like a very, very light mint pistachio color. So I just do the tiniest bit of green, not a lot. My dream music collab is Trisha Paytas. I would love to do like one of her Broadway covers with her. I think we would nail Mamma Mia. She's engaged right now too. I feel like we'd be an awesome Donna and Sophie. <laughs> well, this is a pretty green color. What's one thing I'll never do again? One thing I'll never do again is not check the hood of the car or like the bumper in front of the car before we get in Colin's Jeep. Colin drove 11 miles with a box of tampons open and my Louis Vuitton jacket. It's on TikTok if you guys wanna see that. We didn't realize until we got out of the car that he drove on the highway. 11 miles like that. And we were wondering why are all the cars staring at us? Like Colin's like, oh, I didn't realize my car was like that nice. I'm like, when I got out and saw that, I was just like, oh my gosh. No, it was really embarrassing. I don't understand how the tampons didn't fly out of the box, but most importantly, I don't understand how I still have that Louis Vuitton jacket right now. We don't do Louis like that, that's crazy. All right, so now I'm gonna be adding the different colors onto this like plain base in this pan right here, like the cake pan. And I'm just gonna like drizzle the colors like this, almost like a swirl, almost like tie dye. But try not to mix it too much because you still wanna see the color difference. How do I handle heartbreak? I love watching Netflix because I feel like it takes me to a whole other world when I'm not happy in my current world. Um, and reading, I just got into reading and I think reading is an awesome thing to do. I used to absolutely hate reading. I used to be like, wow, that's only something that I would do for school. I got over that and I started reading for myself recently and it just takes you to a whole other world. So I love that. So we're gonna pop this into the oven. Right now, she kind of looks like a beautiful mess, but when you cut into her, she'll look really cute. I'm gonna wash my hands because they're sticky, and then we're gonna get into the frosting. So for the frosting, I wanna let you guys know there's no exact measurements. How my grandma taught me is you kind of feel for the thickness as you go, meaning like when you add the peanut butter and the powdered sugar, you add the milk to get it to the consistency that you want your um, frosting to be. So I like when it's more on like the sheer side for these peanut butter cakes, because that's how my nani makes them. But uh, some people prefer like thicker frosting, so you would do less milk. How do I handle a friend breakup? You know, when you're an adult, you only make time for people who want to make time for you. Like, you don't got time for drama, honestly. Um, as where I am in life right now, I don't pay too much attention when someone wrongs me. But in the past, I used to handle it very dramatically. Friend breakups are worse than romantic breakups, I swear. One time, I did have a really, really bad friend breakup. And I dealt with that by like hanging out with Colin a lot. Um, I think a lot of people get over breakups in general just hanging out with like new relationships or other relationships and I just feel like people are definitely a blessing and a huge coping mechanism. Community is everything. I think that's the key to getting over those. It's community. So now I'm just adding some peanut butter in this bowl. This is the powder sugar. Like I said, there's no exact measurements. Um, I love peanut butter, it's so good. I could just eat this right off the freaking spoon. What advice would I give to my 17 year old self? Well, I would tell Gabby, don't waste your high school years dating someone. I feel like I don't have many high school memories because I was so hung up on one guy and I wish I had really awesome high school memories. I feel like my best memories are from college because like I got to live it single. But yeah, definitely don't waste your years with the guy, Gabby. What's my secret talent? 
I have a photographic memory. It's the only reason why I let comments bother me so much because I anything I read or see once, I see it like permanently. When I was in college, everyone used to ask me how like I would do well on tests when they never saw me studying. And that was because even if I just filled out a study guide once, or typed a paper about what the test was gonna be on just once. I remember everything that I wrote. I like saw the paragraph in my head, I saw the question in my head, I saw the answer. And um, in this industry, I feel like it really bites me in the butt when I see something I don't like online, I'm constantly seeing it in my head. But yeah, I guess that, it, is that a secret talent? I guess, I don't know. So now we do a taste test to see if it's sweet enough or if it just tastes like straight up peanut butter. If it tastes like straight up peanut butter, then we have to add more powdered sugar and milk. Hmm. Definitely more powdered sugar and milk. So the frosting tastes done. We're gonna wait for the cake to be finished and then we're gonna frost her for now. <laughs> So the cake is done. I flipped it upside down so it's nice and even. And now it's time to frost with the peanut butter frosting. Mmm, it smells so good. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are peanut butter lovers. I truly am. My wedding cake will actually probably be a peanut butter flavor. I'm not even kidding. What show am I currently binge watching? I'm currently binge watching Bridgerton. I already watched it two times. This is the third time I'm binge watching it. I just am so fascinated by that show, the story, the costumes, the setting. Um, I'm a huge lover of anything historic, um, girly, but romantic. And I just feel like that show collectively has everything that I love for a show. Um, and I love when it's a show that you have to like figure out the ending, like Gossip Girl, you have to like, wait to find out who someone is. Um, I love re-watching it in like, Pretty Little Liars and seeing if you pick up on any of the little Easter eggs that they leave in the scenes. And every time I re-watch Bridgerton, I find out something new. So it never gets old and I'm one of those people that like, wants to go to bed watching something that I've already seen before because I don't want to miss out on anything. I don't know if you guys understand what I'm saying, but like, I just have to know what's coming next in order to fall asleep. If I know that this is something I've never seen before, I stay up. And the music, can we talk about the score for that show? It's just so beautiful. We're definitely gonna play some Bridgerton songs at my wedding. They're so, so beautiful. I love strings. Also, the TikToks, I love them. <laughs> Um, but yeah, this is coming along. Um, I'm going to smooth this out a little bit and then we're gonna put our cake topper on. So now that it's nice and frosted, I'm going to be adding the finishing touch. I have to send my grandma a picture of this. This is so cute! Oh my goodness. All right, guys, well, that's it for cooking with me. Make sure to subscribe to Seventeen's channel if you wanna see more videos like this. Let me know in the comments down below if you guys are gonna to attempt to make my grandma's famous peanut butter cake. And yeah, that's it. Make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. And yeah, bye. <laughs>